Pose number one, the downward facing dog. We'll begin our yoga sesh with a downward facing dog pose. So get on all fours, keeping your wrists below your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Then tuck your toes under, press your hands into the floor and straighten your legs to bring your bum up towards the ceiling. We're gonna hold this pose for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. The downward facing dog is one of the main poses in most types of yoga. It works, stretches, and strengthens your entire body. If it's too hard for you, you can bend your knees a little bit. 10 more seconds. And... Great job! Pose number two, plank. Nothing can pump up the effectiveness of a workout like the plank can, so let's do it. Start by getting into a push-up position. Now, place your forearms on the ground so that your elbows are right below your shoulders. Make sure that your body forms a straight line from head to toe. And that's it, you're planking. We'll put 30 seconds on the clock, go. The plank is actually one of the rare exercises that not only strengthen your core, but also work your entire body. It can be pretty difficult to hold, but controlling your breathing is a nice little trick to make this exercise a little easier. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Pose number three. Upward Plank While we're still planking, let's try another type. This one's called an Upward Plank. Sit on the ground with your legs straight in front of you and your hands behind you. Then, lift your hips while keeping your toes pressed to the floor. All clear? Great! Your 30 seconds starts now. The upward plank pose stretches your upper body, improves your balance, and strengthens your arms, legs, glutes, and core. Just like with the regular plank, control your breathing to make it easier. Five more seconds. Bravo! Pose number four, the tree. To get in the tree pose, stand tall with your feet together. Slowly lift your right knee up, grab it, and place your right foot on the inner thigh of your left leg close to your groin. Now, lift your arms up to the sky with your palms together. Let's begin with your right leg raised for 30 seconds. If you're completely new to the world of yoga, practicing the tree pose is definitely a great starting point. It improves your balance and teaches you how to breathe correctly. You're doing great. Keep it up. And amazing. Now let's do the same thing with your left knee raised. Tree pose also strengthens and tones the calves, ankles, and inner thighs. So doing this exercise regularly will leave you with some very nice looking legs. As an added bonus, it also does a lot for your core. Three, two, one, done. Pose number five, warrior one. 
Take a really wide stance and rotate your hips so that your right leg is in front of you and your left leg is behind you. Bend your right knee so that your shin forms a straight vertical line. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, and reach your arms with your palms together. Let's do 30 seconds on the right foot. Warrior One stance is one of the main poses in many yoga practices. It's essential for improving the strength of the core and the entire lower body. While you're doing it, be sure to breathe calmly. And now change it up to your left leg. Among other things, Warrior One also gives a good stretch to your chest, lungs, shoulders, hips, thighs, and the list goes on. Try not to tip your pelvis forward as it can put too much pressure on your lower back. We're almost done, and that's it for Warrior One. Now, get ready for Warrior Stance Two. Pose number six, Warrior Two. Like Warrior One, stand with your feet about one leg length apart, but don't square your hips this time. Turn your right foot out and bend that knee at a 45 degree angle. Now, stretch your arms out to the sides and gaze over with your right hand. Let's do half a minute on the right side. Warrior 2 stretches your hips and inner thighs while improving your balance tenfold. If you have any kind of neck problems, don't turn your head to look over your hand though. Just look straight ahead. Okay, now let's do the left side. Warrior 2 can also help improve digestion and relieve backaches. Not to mention, it significantly increases your stamina, making you stronger both physically and mentally. Just a couple more seconds and done. Pose number seven, the extended side angle. Start by getting into warrior two, only instead of stretching your arms out to the sides, bend your body to place your right hand on the floor next to your right foot. Then stretch your left hand up towards the ceiling, keeping a straight line from the right hand to the left. As always, let's begin with the right side. This particular pose is designed to target the sides of the torso and strengthen the legs, hips, hamstrings, calves, shoulders, chest, and spine. So basically, your whole body. Not bad, right? And now, time to switch to your left side. The extended side angle pose also opens up the lungs, improves digestion, and helps relieve stress. Oh, and it can sharpen your mind, too. Try to focus on exactly what each part of your body is doing during the pose. Doing this regularly will make all of your problems with concentration disappear. And that's it for this pose. Take a deep breath and let's move on to the next one. Pose number eight, seated forward bend. 
Let's get back down on the floor, shall we? Sit down with your legs pulled together straight out in front of you. Now, start to lean forward from your waist, reaching for your toes. Once you've reached your limit as far as stretching goes, hold it for the next 30 seconds. You can probably feel it right about now, but this pose is awesome for stretching your lower and upper back as well as your hamstrings. It opens up the entire body, teaches you to breathe when you're in an uncomfortable position, helps with headaches and anxiety, and reduces fatigue. Just make sure to keep your back straight and do the pose correctly. Hold it a little more and nailed it. Pose number nine, bridge. Lie on your back with your knees bent up. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling and hold this position. Yep, it's pretty straightforward. Your time starts now. The bridge is yet another essential pose for beginners. It manages to stretch both the front and the back of the body. It also improves blood circulation and digestion, helps relieve stress, and opens the lungs and thyroid. Not that many exercises can do that, right? Hold it, and done! Keep up the energy, the next exercise is right around the corner. Pose number 10, Child's Pose. Start Child's Pose by sitting on your knees on the mat. Then, lower your head to the floor with your hands reaching forward or rested at your sides. Now, just relax for the next 30 seconds. Child's Pose is the best resting pose for any stress and tension relief. It's also good to do it in between difficult exercises to calm down your body and mind. Plus, it improves your digestion, relieves back and neck pain, and stretches your hips, thighs, and ankles. And time's up. Pose number 11, Cobra Pose. To get into Cobra Pose, start from the downward facing dog. After that, come forward into a plank, bend your elbows, and slowly lower your hips down to the floor. Roll your shoulders back and gently lift your upper body. Elegant and easy. Ready to hold it for the next 30 seconds? Then let's get to it. This pose strengthens your back and opens up your chest and shoulders. It also decreases stiffness in the lower back. Do it carefully if you have any back injuries. In that case, it's actually better to stay away from this pose until you get better. Three, two, one, nice. Pose number 12, Bow Pose. This one's not too hard depending on your flexibility. Just lie on your stomach on the ground or mat, bend your knees, lift your thighs up off the floor, reach back and grab your ankles. Hold it there for half a minute. Bow pose is a miracle for stretching the whole front and back of your body, while additionally improving your posture and spinal flexibility. However, if you have frequent migraines or insomnia, it's better to avoid this pose. The same goes for those diagnosed with high or low blood pressure. Just replace this one with a different yoga pose. And wonderful! Three more exercises to go. Pose number 13, Boat Pose. Start by sitting on the ground. Bend your knees, lean back, and lift your feet until your shins are parallel to the floor. 
If you feel comfortable with this position, extend your arms forward. Straighten your legs so that your body makes a V-shape. There you go. You're now a boat. Be one for the next 30 seconds. Boat pose is a huge stress reliever. It also improves digestion, stimulates the kidneys, thyroid and intestines, and strengthens the thighs and lower back. If you're a lady and it's that time of the month, you are better off skipping on this pose since it won't be very beneficial for you during your period. It's also not advisable to do it regularly if you suffer from asthma or diarrhea. Three more seconds and stop. You're doing great. Keep it up. Pose number 14, fish pose. For this one, start off by lying on your back, keeping your feet on the floor and your knees bent. Then, lift your upper body while sliding your hands under your butt. Keep your forearms and elbows close to the sides of your body and lift your upper back off the floor. Your 30 seconds begin right now. This pose strengthens your hamstrings and lower back. It also opens up your hips and rib cage. Again, if you have migraines or insomnia, this pose definitely shouldn't be part of your yoga training. During menstruation, however, it can help ease the pain. Three, two, one, done. Ready for our last exercise? Pose number 15, wind relieving exercise. This final exercise does exactly what it sounds like, but we'll get into that later. Let's start by lying on your back and bringing both knees up to your chest. Press on your lower abdomen by holding your knees tight in your arms. Then, raise your head, neck, and chest and bring them close to your knees. Hug yourself like this for the next 30 seconds. This pose helps improve your digestion and release toxic gas from your system. Yep, hence the name. As for your muscles, it mostly stretches your lower back and strengthens the spine. Come on, almost there. And congrats. You've completed the entire workout. Give yourself a nice pat on the back for this.